Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow. And I have some good news in a stream of very bad news regarding Sniper Wolf. Her second channel has been officially demonetized. Every video has been demonetized on the second channel she was using to ban evade her original demonetization. So I know it's a small victory, but it is two things. One, it is a victory, but also it tells us that YouTube is actually paying attention very closely to what people are saying about this situation. Originally, when Jax Films was doxxed, it took them an entire week to respond to what was going on. This only took them about a couple of days, a couple of days for them to actually take action and fully demonetize this channel. So Sniper Wolf is no longer making money on YouTube. Now, I have no idea for how long they want to do that for. I would imagine, if I'm being honest, YouTube is either going to wait approximately like one month or they'll wait for the drama to die down and quietly re-monetize the channel when most people have moved on. So it's very important that we do not do that right now. We have to keep talking about this because Sniper Wolf has years and years of abuse on this platform. And also YouTube was well aware that she used her platform to dox people before. So we talk about Jack's film. Jack's film was doxed on Instagram, which I'm gonna get into a little bit later, but also on YouTube, she used the DMCA system in order to dox another content creator on the platform. That is a clear violation. That is not off-platform behavior. That was on YouTube's own platform. So guys, let's get into it. Before I do, please do me a favor. Drop a like on the video. Share the content on this channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Later on tonight, on Wednesday at 10 o'clock Eastern, we will be live streaming, deep, diving really deep into all of these subjects. And if you want to tune in for that, I would would appreciate your view. So first up, this is the original lawsuit that Enigma Hood had filed against uh, Sniper Wolf, as well as YouTube. YouTube was a name plaintiff in this lawsuit. So they were fully aware of what Sniper Wolf was doing with her platform in 2016. Okay, seven years ago, YouTube was fully aware that their Top content creator Sniper Wolf, I, I mean, I don't know exactly if she was like at the tippy top, but she was still pretty high up there back then, was using her platform and abusing the DMCA system to dox people. So we're going to read through this thread. And again, uh, uh, appreciate the person that ran this thread. I, I apologize. I would like and retweet, but I've, I've got like another couple days before I can do that. The lawsuit is pretty basic. Sniper Wolf filed a false DMCA. He appealed to YouTube and he won. So she responds by dox him and resorting to defamation. Screenshots are from the original complaint filed in 2016 and judge's decision in 2017. Okay, so to be very clear, the way that Sniper Wolf went about getting his personal information was literally abusing YouTube's own system. She filed a false DMCA takedown of one of his videos. He appealed it, which required him to put out his full legal name, and then she took that and doxed him with it. She literally used YouTube's own system to dox somebody on the platform. How is this woman still given a channel? Well, I guess you could say it's back in 2016, but look at what she just did recently. Clearly, this is a repeated pattern of behavior. This is how she does people. This is what she will do to anybody she feels is damaging her brand. Jack's film was damaging her brand, so she wanted to crush and destroy him. Enigma Hood was a guy with 5,000 subs who is simply saying, hey, Sniper Wolf re-uploading other people's footage of gameplay content, which technically was true. It was Young Sausage's gameplay content. She was faking the gameplay content and then reading a script over it. That's how she became famous. That's how her channel actually originally blew up because you had a hot girl who could play video games, except, you know, she, she can't actually play video games. But because he was revealing the truth to people, seven years ago, she freaked the fuck out on him and she doxxed him. She abused YouTube's own systems in order to dox him. According to the complaint on August 16, 2013, uh, Shalesh filed a false and malicious Digital Millennium Copyright Act takedown notice to falsely and maliciously take down plaintiff's video. Sniper Wolf Facebook Creepers Vlog Rant Response Plaintiff filed in opposition to the claim and in doing so had to provide his real name, home address, phone number, and email. 
She took that information and she posted it online. She posted it to her fucking channel and people got the information. They then used it to harass the ever loving shit out of this guy because she then turned around and told them all he was a registered sex offender, which was verifiably false. But none of them bothered to look anywhere past. We have his name. We have his address. We can go destroy his life. That's what Sniper Wolf did. That's what she used her platform on YouTube to do to another other person and she was never penalized for any of it and then seven years later look what she did to Jack Holmes on Instagram and we're going to talk about Instagram but real quick I wanted to highlight something I thought was very interesting this is Sniper Wolf's social blade account okay and as you can see she's really not taking any type of backlash off of this yes she lost about a hundred thousand subscribers but that's less than one percent of her total sub count her audience her fan base does not care that she is a doxer. They do not care that she will spread false allegations against people. They do not care that she steals content. They're perfectly okay with all of that. That's who YouTube is appealing to right now. These weird fringe people. And literally, honestly, I think that they do deserve to be shamed if they're not going to give a shit about the type of shit that she is doing because it is heinous and it is wrong. But the other thing that's kind of interesting, do you see these massive view drops? Ops. Okay, October 20th and October 23rd, 15 million views dropped, 7.2 million views dropped. This is because she has been going through her channel and deleting videos that she knows will get her in trouble. Videos that I would guess are currently monetized on her channel, which is pretty funny because when I bring up the Omegle videos and the things that she was doing with minors, that's like an instant yellow mark of death on YouTube. However, those, th those videos were originally fully monetized on her channel meaning youtube was totally okay with that content green lighting her and paying her money running ads on that content but if you talk about it if you talk about it that's an instant demonetization according to youtube's own fucking terms that's what we mean by like it's two tiered and they're picking favorites but i think it's very interesting because what other videos is she taking down what other videos is she removing from her platform right now because this this was yesterday at the time of this recording anyways now let's move on to instagram okay leah is still on instagram she has not faced any type of even temporary suspension off of the platform and i think that's interesting we have all of our focus placed on youtube and i think that's very important okay i'm not saying stop i am saying that maybe we need to widen the net a little bit because instagram right now has taken no actions against sniper wolf they they don't give a shit that she used their platform to dox another user and i did want to head and check like hey do they have a terms of service that, that says you can't dox people and i did find something that's kind of interesting and basically if somebody doxes you on Instagram, you have to jump in and report it immediately. You have to go to the current Instagram video or post and file a complaint against that post. Meaning, because Leah took down the content prior to Jackson's being able to file a complaint that his personal information was being exposed, she got away with it. Now, I don't think that's right. I think just like YouTube is paying attention to this, we need to be just as loud, okay? We need to be just just as loud and get Instagram's attention. There is zero reason why Instagram should not have taken down her platform because she used it to dock somebody just like in the past where she used youtube's own system and own tools to get someone's personal information and then use that to dox them on youtube she did the same thing with instagram i mean ex except for she didn't get his personal information off of instagram i guess you give her that i guess she's grown <laughs> she's grown apparently but she did use Instagram to dox Jacksonville. Why is she not being taken off of Instagram too? Because exposing someone's personal and private information on Instagram, I know for a fact that they have taken other people's platforms down for similar behavior or at least alleged similar behavior. So why is Leah's account on Instagram completely untouched? This should be taken down too. This should be taken down too. Her YouTube channel should be taken down too because this woman has a repeated history of harassing people,
bullying people and doxing people with her social media platforms. Anyways, guys, I know it's a little bit of a shorter video or, or like shorter for me anyways, but please do me a favor again, again, again. Do not stop talking about this. And, and final word, we will be live tonight, Wednesday at 10 o'clock Eastern. Feel free to join us in the live stream. Come in and vent with me. Let me know what you're thinking about this situation because holy fuck, is it pissing me off that she is being given a slap on the wrist when she has more than seven, probably more than 10 years history of abuse on these platforms.